Hello, hello, and welcome back to Leaky Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. Mod Monday. Today we have an airport, cargo stations, and spa. First, disclaimer, there's a lot of a lot of good mods, go and check it out, this is just something that caught my eye, you should go and check all of them out, uh, you have links to these in the description of the video, and yes, go and support our community. First things first, public baths by Mr. Marius, swimming pool in the shape of ancient neo neoclassical public baths in the game, functions as a sports facility under attractions, yada yada yada. You can go and check out more details there. Now, the most important thing, how does it compare to vanilla one? This looks actually absolutely beautiful. So, here we go. Right hand side we're gonna have the indoor pool, that's vanilla one, and on the left hand side we're gonna have the public baths. Public baths require six star. Oh, okay, this is almost ten times the exp as expensive. Yeah, more or less nine to ten times more expensive. It that requires that many more materials in order to be constructed. So definitely not a cheap project. Mr. Raceon and uh, Airport Spilve. Uh, greetings. Most in several buildings. Spilve Airport, Latvia, Riga. This airport, like many others in USSR, was built in 1954. Uh, he became most famous and rightfully be called masterpiece of the Stalinist Empire style. I honestly have never uh, met such a beautiful airport. Just look at the photos, it's great. The airport building has no inscription, such as airport will surely become a hallmark of your republic. Now, I have seen the photos of this. Uh, there's photos in the link in the description to the mod if you go to the um, our workshop, mod workshop, you know, steam workshop, you will see even the photos of this airport and it's magnificent. I have to say it looks beautiful, it's amazing, amazing and um, this is really really nice from Raytheon to build something like this um, in honor of this building which I'm not really sure if it's being used still but this is definitely a masterpiece. Now how, uh, this is just a regular airport as you can see, it, it contains four different pieces, you have hunger, hanga, hunger, hanger, hanger, <laughs> hanger for one and three uh, planes, it does have uh, airport without inscription uh, for capacity of 5,000 people, 70 tons of fuel and uh, control tower that uh, requires 10 teachers or let's say college educated people here, dispatchers. So these are the four buildings that come in uh, in this. This is something I will definitely be using. How does it compare to vanilla one? We're going to be comparing only a couple of buildings here. We have a tower and uh, we control tower and we have the airport itself. This airport is a little bit bigger uh, size wise than the mod we have here but let's let's check it out so here we have a, a airport ter terminal on the right hand side and the left hand side would be here we go terminal 3300 oh it's even more expensive yes it's uh, about three times steel is a little bit less though it has a little bit less steel but it has way way more uh, bricks to be finished, the, the, the three, almost three times as many bricks and does require more work hours to be finished. So this is by no means cheap airport. Uh, what about the control tower? Control tower on the right hand side here and then we're gonna have control tower on the left hand side. Um, again, this is requires a little bit less steel but more work days and electrical components which of course should be a given thing, electrical components will be required you know, in an airport control tower, but definitely something that I'm going to be using in my Let's Plays. Oleg Monolith, Hotel Transfer. There's an English and Russian uh, translation. Uh, it's build, a building type hotel. This is a mode you can take tourists directly without transfers by uh, three types of transports. Water transport, railroad transport and motor transport. So this is hotel that has train station, bus station and water front piers to transport tourists here so if you choose to for something like this is absolutely magnificent this is really really cool i don't play with tourists that much but this is definitely something i will consider if we build 21st century tourist mecca this is something that you need to have now let's check out the price just real quickly because i'm pretty sure that this is going to be on a pricer pricier side so we have the 
And we have a hotel here, so if we go all the way to the end, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to go all over again. 1,200, oh wow, okay, this is not so expensive. Let's see the price-wise like this. It does require only 28, okay, this would be a little bit on the cheap side. In my book, this would definitely require a lot of steel for the railroads and other infrastructure here, but doesn't look like it requires it here. If we go once more, it does require 13 tons of uh, steel and 152 tons of prefab panels. What about the vanilla hotels? Let's just real quickly check this. Vanilla hotels require similar, okay. So I would say that this could be in a price range of a hotel and I think actually it could be copy paste from the uh, vanilla hotel, uh, the amount of workers and steel required. But anyway, it's in the same ballpark as vanilla hotel. It should do require a little bit more resources, but hey ho, who am I to judge? Mr. Rob 074, fire station based on a real building in Lublin, Poland, can be equipped with four fire engines. Now, this is a really beautiful, classic, classic Mr. Rob's, but you can see here uh, four fire engines. You have different skins as well. I will not present a link to the skins. You will probably see it in the, in the mod section when you go to this mod, but this is beautiful, beautiful building. And how does it compare to vanilla one? If we go to our vanilla vanilla fire department which that would be right over here and we place it right next here and uh, let's go and compare it real quickly under mod section we would have the fire station uh, on the left hand side 912 working days to finish this is more or less similar to vanilla building it does require a little bit less uh, bricks less steel a little bit less asphalt but it does have it does have less capacity as well so this is a little bit cheaper version but definitely comparable in price to the vanilla one if you want more details check out the link in the description mr villax or villax say it's we have a really beautiful 21 story building uh, right, let me read the, the English description, 21 story building, two types, they are mirrored, as you can see here, that there's a, two different buildings. And no collisions, perfect, this is amazing in my books, I love when there is no collision, I will make a collision myself. I mean, flat ground for the building. Connection to the building, pedestrian paths, pedestrian connections are deepened in the model, the construction pedestrian paths are possible only for forward direction, this is done so that it's possible to build houses more densely and not uh, a kilometer from each other. Um, I make mods myself, yada, 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 yada. You have a lot of, a lot of uh, more details in the description. Now, these buildings, uh, you, they can be found here in the last section, at least in my books. I'm going to go and compare the price-wise to vanilla buildings. Unfortunately, there's nothing this size, but uh, I will go for the biggest buildings we have. So if we go for... Uh, for residential buildings and the biggest ones we have is the last one here just under 200 people living in there and if we go back to our mods on the right hand side we're gonna have the prefab flats from vanilla game and on the left hand side it requires 4,000 work days to be finished it does require uh, 100 tons of steel definitely this is expensive building this is by no means cheap building it's gonna take you arm and a leg to finish it requires a lot of steel and definitely it's worth it now if you go and check it out uh, as previously mentioned this is the there are two different versions of this building uh, they are kind of mirrored and you can even try to put them quite close together and create your own version of twin towers here but anyway you can check out the link to this mod in the description of the video Mr. Novo, Novo and Alpine Hotel, a rugged hotel for those seeking the great outdoors. It's made from private, uh, pr primitive materials such as rough lawn logs and rubble stone. Lodging for 15 tourists, made with building editor, uh, added residential version. So these are this is hotel, and of course the residential building for 60 people or for 50 tourists over here. So this is just a classical Mr. Novu. He builds, he has the whole set of these wooden type of buildings for the whole city. You can practically build the whole city out of these materials. And this is just a continuation of what he's been doing uh, so far. It's a really, really beautiful model. It's actually quite detailed. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm impressed. Anyway, let's go and compare this to, uh, let's say, residential buildings of the equal size. So if we go and look for something 60 people, capacity it will be significantly cheaper because it's made out of wood and simple materials uh, unfortunately looks like we don't have anything that close to the capacity of the building so let's go for something a little bit bigger here so on the right hand side we have the prefab flats and on the left hand side we're gonna have 
in just a second we're gonna have comparison of the materials gravel boards and thousand work hours actually it requires a lot of work hours to finish these buildings they're both the same price eight, 80 tons of gravel thousand work days and 750 boards to be finished actually i don't even think that that's that cheap because of the work days required to finish this you can see that it's double the price actually it's double the price of the these prefab flats but this is definitely something that is not cheap or easily affordable so you're gonna have to pony up a lot of resources to build this one right mr rob 074 cargo train station cargo train station based on a real building in Loveland, poland comes in three versions uh with two four and six rail connections what it is what is this what is this this is just a, tra a cargo station it can be connected it has a lot of classic mr robs it has enormous amounts of industrial connections so you can place it in any direction that you want uh, this is definitely something i needed and to be a little bit more on the realistic side they're quite long so you're gonna need a lot of space for these bad boys so bear in mind that this is something i will be using definitely and also that i give big thumbs up because it's much more realistic that your train will be unloaded with a full length in mind when they're unloading a train so this is something really 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 nice now real quickly let's check out how do you, how does it compare to the only cargo train station that we have in game we're just gonna not buy it we have on the right hand side the train station and on the left hand side we're gonna have Tudum, tudum, here we go so this one requires 530 work days to be finished eight tons of steel uh, 66 tons of concrete and 24 tons of gravel uh definitely more expensive definitely more expensive the even the smallest one is more expensive requires almost three times the the concrete almost four times the gravel and uh, equal amount similar amount of steel but it does require F three times i wanted to say five times but three times more workforce to finish even the smallest ones so bigger ones are going to be even more complicated to build i'm really looking forward to using them okay we're overlooking these models uh, i will not present the map because i don't have a map at this time because uh, there are two maps i wanted to test here uh vakarius done uh, full realistic started this looks like a really really interesting map unfortunately i tried to load it several times it crashed for me um i'm gonna i'm gonna chat with a map maker and see if there's an, an issue with this or whatever is the deal but looks like a really really interesting map with a history and a story i will leave the link uh, to this map in description and also i will just present um i'm gonna first be uh pronouncing my extremely bad russian because the the other map that i wanted to present instead of this one again i had a problem of not being able to find it even though it's installed it's not visible in my mod section that would be a gorno rechnaya mesnosti mesnost sorry mesnost that would be probably uh, um, a mountainous river location something like that uh that's my rough <laughs> translation I, I don't even speak russian that well like that doesn't really matter this is by uh spore fire and there's not a lot of details on this map it looks interesting i really wanted to give it a go but unfortunately like i said i couldn't find the map and this brings us to the end this is just a normal default map this is the end and uh, i have to say that i'm really 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 surprised by the mods the quality of the mods today and i have no idea which one i would pick for my favorite one i probably go uh, for the airport and mr racian because it's so iconic building and it's so beautiful in real life that uh, i'm gonna have to go with the airport even though i'm not using it that much in my let's place i will start soon but anyway what's your favorite mod can you hit the comment section and let me know uh and i really hope you guys enjoyed this if you did press the like button if you didn't leave a nasty comment in the comment section and if you want to support the channel you can always buy me a coffee in the link in the description of the video guys have a lovely monday and i'm gonna see you in the next one bye bye